seconds in college football. College football in the South is more than just a game, but to one young man, it means the world. I'm David Safir, and I am a Clemson football equipment manager. Well, he's part of the team. You know, David could never play football. You know, you know, he loves football. Well, just because you can't be the starting quarterback, that doesn't mean you can't have a role. David Seville was born on March 2nd, 1990. But soon after his birth, his parents received unexpected news. So when David was born, we had no idea that he had Down syndrome. I think at the beginning, it was really hard for me. It took me longer to accept and to get used to it. But I like to tell people that the Lord gave me a smile and a laugh for every tear I ever cried with David. He has been one of the biggest blessings in my life. When you have a typical child, you don't, the day after he's born, start thinking about where he's gonna work or where he's gonna live or who his friends are going to be. But when you have a special needs child, you try to plan the future out and you want to make it the best it can be. David's future took shape at a young age. He stood out in Boy Scouts and was involved in everything a typical child would be. But it wasn't until high school that he truly broke out of his shell. The big thing that impacted his life was we threw him in. And I can remember when he walked up the stairs one day, I said, David, do you help, need any help doing this? And he said, no, Dad, I can do anything. That attitude helped David earn a spot on the Norcross High School football equipment staff. David is, uh, has impacted a lot of people's lives at Norcross High School. I mean, from the day he walked into school, he's been really big in the athletic department, especially the football. It was fun the four years that I had him to see him grow and, and the, the, the jobs that I provided for him. I would just give him a job where early on I may have helped him, but as he, as he grew, he kind of did the jobs on his own and I knew that they were getting taken care of. As the time he walked out the door, he was one of the most popular seniors in our, in our, in our whole school. Um, he was, he was uh, homecoming king. He was a, a big part of going to prom and, and just doing the things that a normal student does in high school. As high school graduation approached, David's parents were unsure about his future beyond their hometown. You know, we never really thought about it. We, it's funny, we had a savings plan for him from the beginning for college, um, but really never dreamed that he would go to college. One day, uh, Diane walked in and said, uh, told me about what the Clemson Life Program was. And I said, well, why would we want to send David to Clemson? He's doing so great here in Norcross. Just like any other college program, Clemson life is competitive, and David's acceptance wasn't guaranteed. When we left, we had thought there was no way he would get in the program. And one day we got this acceptance letter, which totally floored us all. Then when we got the letter, it was like unbelievable joy. We were so excited and we're like, yes, he's gonna do this, it's gonna be great. Clemson Life is a post-secondary transition program. Um, it's for students with intellectual disabilities. It just gives them that next step so they can further their education through employment skills, um, independent living skills, so that when they leave us, they're able to be citizens of the community. As a campus community, um, we take great pride in the fact that Clemson Life is here. Um, and you watch the students walk around the campus, you know, they're rock stars on this campus. People love interacting with them. So it's really hard for parents to just drop them off to a program that they hope for the best, 
um, and to know that they're going to be walking independently across the campus, they're going to be getting on public transportation. I mean, those are all scary things for a parent to let go of. But all of our parents do a great job of letting go. I had to hold back tears and say goodbye to David, but it was just different leaving him in that environment that I didn't know a lot about. But I think David was fine. He was ready for us to go home. Our students get the full Clemson experience, which is what I absolutely love about Clemson Life. They get to walk across campus with students. They go to the dining hall with students. You know, go to football games, social activities. I mean, socially, you know, being integrated with college students is, is amazing. He really worked hard and, and just exceeded all our expectations that we had for the college experience. I mean, it's just been wonderful. They get jobs, they cook for themselves, they take care of themselves, they learn independence. It's an amazing process to be a part of. I'm, again, I'm just so thankful that we have that program here. And I think Clemson is really good. But, but only disability in their life is a bad attitude. The Clemson Life Program has changed David's life in many ways. Not only did it give him the chance to be a college student, but David himself earned a spot as a member with one of college football's most elite programs. I'm gonna introduce you to my main man, David Seville. This is one of the greatest ambassadors that we have at Clemson University. There's a spot for everybody. There's a role for everybody. And, and you know, there's just something about being a part of a team and a family. From the first day we met him in June camp before he got here in August, he was, he's everybody's best friend. He doesn't know a stranger. As a person with Down syndrome, things that they're really good at are things that they can learn and they can do over and over and over again. So there's a lot of things that we give him on a day-to-day -day basis that he does that really makes it easy for him to gain experience in the workplace and also experiences as a person. Clean deal shoes, clean uh, football uh, helmets, and put shorties on their sh shoulder pads. Dave normally uses, the, he normally just takes his time and he'll do one pair of cleats the whole day. But I tell you what, it's the best looking pair of cleats. He's very fun. Um, you know, after each game, he comes in and, you know, if we win, they cut up the music and he's the first one in the middle of the, the park, you know, dancing and, you know, everyone else surrounds him and they you know, start cheering him on and we get out there and start dancing with him. He kind of had the circle and he was doing his deal. And then all of a sudden, only like David Kenny takes his hat and throws it back, which is like some patented move that our players knew. I didn't know what the heck he was doing. I just thought he was throwing his hat, but our players knew. And I mean, they went crazy, and uh, it was total chaos after that. I love Clemson football. P.S. Go Tycos. The past four years at Clemson provided David with lifelong friendships lasting memories, and the confidence to live an independent life. Whoever thought that our son would walk across the stage at a major university and get a diploma? Graduation makes me feel happy. It then makes me alumni as a Clemson Tycho. If it wasn't for the football team and the Clemson life and the folks at Norcross High School, David wouldn't have accomplished all these things. The only disability in life is a bad attitude, and that's that's incredible to hear that because that's that's David, you know, and to a T. David's presence at Clemson will never be forgotten the positive morale boost that we get from him all the time. He's just a great piece of our team. You know, 20 plus years from now, they're gonna be talking about their experience with David Seville and uh, the impact that he had on their life. I don't have any doubt about that. How did I know? What's up, brother? Hey, you ready? If I be a, a tycho, 
you'll always be a crimson tiger.